Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm trying my best. And we are back with another pick from our patron, DJ Pope Jeff. Um, the Ro the Roaches? The Rochers? I don't know how to pronounce it, bro. I've been going back and forth for like five minutes how to pronounce it. I didn't want to look it up, but we're going to be listening to the track. Um, I think it's called Jerks on the Loose. It's from the album Keep On Doing What You Do, I think. It's a vocal trio of sisters from Jersey. Or New Jersey, I should say. Um, that's all I know about them. There's not much else out there about them, so I not much of an intro to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, and let's go. All right, keep on. Oh, jerks on the loose by the Rochers. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully, three, two, one, go. Maggie, Terry, and Susie. Those are the names. That's crazy. Wow. Why don't you listen to my little pep talk instead of what that person said? That's trippy, dude. Jerks on the loose. That guitar, man. Wow. That was so cool, man. I was just reading up on their um their history, basically. That's fascinating. So yeah, they're from uh Park Ridge, New Jersey. They formed in 1980. Um, 
just an American vocal trio. Susie, uh, Terry, and Maggie, like I said, they were active from 73 to 2017. Oh, the picture was from the 80s. I'm sorry. My apologies. Um, and this was from... They have an album called Nudes. That's funny. Um, it said it was on the uh, Keep On Doing album from 1982. So it was their collaboration with Robert Fripp. Was he the one ripping that solo in there? Bill Bruford on percussion. Tony Levin on bass. Man, I did not know about that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, I, I love the guitar in that. If that was Fripp, it sounded like him. Like 100% sounded like him. And I, I love when it... I don't know these things going into it. And I'm like, damn, that's really good. Like their vocal harmonies were sick, but at the same time, it's like, whoa, listen to that solo. And like the kind of electronic almost percussion that Bruford is uh, really, uh, you know, uh, an innovator in, especially in like the early eighties, you could hear that. Um, and the bass definitely like the instrumental period was great. And not even talking about the vocals, like the vocals were kind of otherworldly at points. They reminded me of like a, a choir, but it was just three voices, you know, and just kind of like rose and fell, rose and fell. It's very interesting, man. Like, I, I don't know. I, uh, I saw this request. It was sitting on the thread for a while and I didn't know how the name would go over with YouTube because they'll just demonetize you for anything these days and it sucks, you know? So I kind of held off on it, but now I find it, I kind of feel stupid. So thank you for that DJ Pope, Jeff. Thanks for making me feel stupid, bro. I'm just kidding. That was really, really good. And if there's any other selections from this album that has, or any other collaborations with this, I am totally game because uh, that is awesome. Like seriously, <laughs> that was really, really good. I was not expecting that. Even when I read the vocal trio part, that was all I read. So I thought it was going to be like a, more like a, a harmony based thing, which it was, but man, that solo and the tone that Fripp gets is just fantastic, bro. It's so, so good. I love it. Um, but I don't know what else to talk about. Like, the percussion was really good. I think oh, obviously Levin and Bruford worked together great, especially when Levin, I don't know if he was doing his Chapman stick or a bass. Um, and you kind of mix that like almost uh, electronic percussion that Bruford does. It's a very good sound. And that was a very interesting track and kind of get lost in it. And now I want to hear more. So if you have any other tracks by them, there should be like a pinned comment at the top of the comment thread. You can leave it there. I'll definitely check it out, especially if it's from this album, because I love Fripp, even though he blocks all my videos when I tried to do a video for him. But that's OK. He knows I love him. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you again, DJ Pope Jeff. That was a great pick. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.